What's up, Raven Dadgical here, and it's going to be a Gaddafi book review. So, I'm going to talk about a book, and I've talked about it before. So, I talked about it about a year and a half ago, and I don't know if I gave it a fair fair assessment. Or, a, I gave it a fair assessment, but maybe I want to review it. So, um, James Wesley Rawls, back in the day, probably early 90s, wrote Patriot. And then... Patriot became the how-to biblical guide for preppers, right? It was kind of the first, like, people wrote survivalist novels, and people wrote, like, action movie, action books, and stuff like that, but Patriots was the first of its kind. Ah, I need caffeine. Um, where Patriots succeeded was we all started writing a book on how to like how would I describe how to start prepping or how to be a homesteader or how to do all this and then he started writing that kind of book but then he had to write a story with it and then that story kind of took off now Rawls has gone through the years and there's multiple versions of Patriots where he's updated it to kind of fit current events. And what happens when he updated it throughout the years, sometimes he never updated the whole thing. So there are certain weird time discrepancies on current events that happened in the beginning of the book when he wrote it and then now. But it's fine. If you don't if you don't pay attention to that and that doesn't bother you and it bothered me. I've noticed it because I've had probably five or six copies throughout the years. Um, I think I had the original, uh, one of the original copies, and I gave it away after reading it twice. And a friend of mine, when I was on SKS boards, told me about this book. And he's like, you need to get this book if you're going to start getting into prepping. It kind of puts things into perspective. So I got it. You know, we were over in Iraq, and I read it. Because it would fit in the ACU pocket. I could carry it with me where I wanted to go. So I read it. And then I read it again, and then I was taking notes with it, right? I had a highlighter, and you're writing notes and whatnot. So you're like, man, you know, food, water, okay? You know, Patriot is a very, I'm going to call it a prepper's, if you want to call it a prepper's ultimate fantasy, you know? These guys were able to take their, their mag group, and it was before the term uh, mutual assistance group started up, they were able to take a group of people who they met through college. Uh, most of them were paired up, married. So they had several of those and then a couple bachelors who all had decent jobs uh, through college. But in college, they started this group. And that's what they actually call it, the group. And they formed basically their prepper group while living kind of in Chicago area. And they knew it wasn't sustainable. So one or two of them, they started looking at getting property out in the Redoubt area. I believe it was Idaho. And so they find the farming homestead, they find the thing, and they build, they don't really build, they, um, they buy it outright, and that's where they build the prepper home. So they build the prepper home, and they talk about how they build the defenses, they upgraded this for fuel, and they put fuel tanks here, and, you know, we put some armor plating here, and the, the weapons we have, and how we store food in the basement, and it, it's very detailed that way. And if you're not a person that likes reading to begin with, the details might bore you. But for me, it was kind of like, yeah, you know what, that makes sense. You know, I'm like, I look at it from an analytical side, I'm like, yeah, you know what, that would make sense. You gotta, you gotta have kind of food there, and it'd be cool to have this. And a lot of it is how to. Um, it's not... This book isn't very action-based in comparison. Like, if you were to take, if I were to give you a comparison book, like the Coming Home series with Anger A American, um, the Coming Home series is also a how-to, but it's more action-driven. Where there's there's these constant fights, these constant you know ups and downs and big fights and low fights and people getting killed and stuff. Patriots is more of the how-to with some fights. It's a lot of how-to. Um, one example in Patriots, too, will be, you know, 
they get so detailed that they talk about how they ordered it and what page it was on and what magazine, you know. That's just kind of how Rawls thinks, right? And it's a little overdone. And so Rawls looks at it from there and he writes this book and, you know, it talks about how they, they set everything up. Well, his world, because in Rawls, or excuse me, Rawls' world, there are several books written later on, so they're all in this realm. Uh, Patriots has an economic collapse, which then leads to, I believe, you don't find out right away, but later in the book you find out that there is a pandemic flu because of all the problems on the East Coast. And then what you have is the loss of continuity of government, the UN steps in and starts bringing in troops, and you wind up seeing a shift in America where the, they tried restoring America, but they were starting to take away all the rights. Like you're basically a slave nation to the UN to pay back like China, you know, all these countries back. And it was no longer the America you wanted. And that's where the fight comes in, really. Um, they become the resistance to tyranny. You know, they follow that concept. They follow the book Resistance to Tyranny, they, where they, they do go do guerrilla warfare against tanks. They go guerrilla warfare against you know, the troops, and they talks about how they form other militia groups and stuff. And one of the things that I really enjoyed was he gave a very, very accurate concept of how to fight in a militia concept. He talked about having small teams, and it makes so much more sense. And they also talk about having leaderless teams, so that one militia group goes down, they don't lose everybody. So you might have a five, ten man team, and that's what you got. Very cool because Rawls was an intelligence officer. And the beauty of Rawls is it's not that he just writes from his suburban house. Rawls did um, basically trapping and hunting in Alaska for a year or two, trying to live that you know live that life. Rawls and his family own a retreat in Idaho in the Redoubt area, and they actually built everything up and they lived that lifestyle. I mean, it's very cool. It's very secluded. They write a blog, a survival blog, and he public, you know, he publishes his own things. He'll comment on things like that, and they do talk about it. He lives this lifestyle, which gives him authenticity. Versus, I think there's some people out there who are writing these books, a lot of these prepper books or survivalist books, from the comfort of their suburban home, going, "Yeah, you know what? I read this idea." I'm going to incorporate this in my book. And it just doesn't come out very authentic. Um, Patriots, too, they wind, up, they wind up having a couple of different fights, too. It's not very action-packed, though. Um, later on, if you get the variations in the books, uh, they do include more characters. They have, like, a an offshoot in the book about libertarianism and these two brothers and stuff. It's interesting, you know? If you do enjoy that book, uh, in the series, I guess, if you want to call it, there's uh, about three or maybe four other books in that realm, and they're not bad. They're smaller. They're not as detailed and oriented as Patriot, um, but they do take more place of the action side where they talk about that UN fight, and they believe one of them actually deals with Canada. Um, Canada's got attacked by the French. Our French UN tried pushing into Canada, and then I think Chinese, you know, they talk about how China would influence a lot of that kind of stuff without America being a man force. Um, but yeah, check out Patriots. I'll put a link for the book. Um, Audibles has it too. Uh, I got, basically of the copy I had, I gave it away. Um, I want to pick it up another hard copy, and then I have my Audibles copy. And Audible's, it's about 24 hours long, so I mean, it's a sizable book, so I would say it's enjoyable, but it's also a little dry, so, you know, take it, don't sit there and quote me and say it's the greatest book on earth, because it may not be your cup of tea, not all, well, my whole opinion, so, uh, but I would give mad props to him, because he is kind of the original you know, he's the original prepper writer, and that's awesome. 
I enjoy listening to his book, usually in fall. Every fall, I usually put it on Audible, so when I'm driving to work for a week, I'll listen to it. You know, I've listened to it enough that, like, if Audible, like, if I stop at a gas station, that, yeah, I'm not too worried about missing something. But, with that, I say, you know, you know, check it out. His book is great. I give him, you know, if I were to rate it 5 out of 5, I'd give it a 5 out of 5. It's just that much of an influencing book. It's what got me into prepping. And it's really what kind of set me on the course that I was at. So, I appreciate it. It's Raven Tag and Pull Out. Thank you.